Hello YouTube, how's it going? So first off, I want to thank all of you. I reached 916 subs and got accepted to the lower tier partnership program. So that means I have a join button, which is basically a sub button like the Twitch. For a monthly uh, fee, you get a channel membership, which basically comes with emotes and a little icon on your name. Again, do not donate unless you absolutely want to go that extra mile. The other thing is a super thanks button, which is basically a one-time donation if you want to do that instead. Either way, I need to get to a thousand subs in order to get the ad revenue partnership program, but Thank you all so much. I know my videos get a lot of dislikes, but there are a handful of people who literally are like, keep going, keep refining. And again, you took a chance on me. And even if you disliked it, thank you for, you know, giving me that shot. I'm still trying to get my other channel partnered, but it got denied. I reapplied with an appeal video, but I, it's not looking good. We'll see how things go. So uh, Yakuza. Yakuza is one of the most popular franchises out there. It gained a lot of more mainstream. After it was introduced into Game Pass, a lot of people started playing the games like myself and fell in love with them. They are basically a crime drama beat em up. That's the core of the franchise. There are a lot of other things that come within the Yakuza franchise because they put so much heart and soul into all their mini games. There's like a RC track, there's fishing, there's so many things in this game. They definitely put every ounce of creativity into this game to make sure even the mini games feel like their own, uh, like their own game itself. There's also the spin-off series, Judgment, which I think is fantastic as well. But uh, yeah, since Yakuza 6, they started with a new protagonist, Ichiban, and they went for a turn-based combat system, which it took a while for me to get into it, but it's really fleshed out and wonderful. I advise that you give it a shot. Regardless, um, the new game, which is like a Dragon Gaiden, which is a sequel, will see the return of Kirio and Ichiban. It's a little strange that Kirio is coming back, considering... Uh, Yakuza 6 was supposed to be his final game and like a dragon they introduced him as a way to be a mentor towards Ichiban in the finale of the game so he can get ready to fight the dragon. Basically Kirio knows that he can take on the dragon but he can't reveal his um, identity let's just say that in case people are still playing through the games these games clock in at about 20 to 40 hours so he trains Ichiban to become a better person so he can take on the final boss. Regardless, um, he's coming back for the next game, and the new voice actor is going to be Yang Ye. Now, if you don't know who Yang Ye is, he is a YouTuber notorious for covering video game news. He has over a million subs, but he's also an acclaimed voice actor. He's done animes, he's done video games, he's done a lot of work, and he's accredited. He's actually starred in a previous Yakuza game, specifically the Kaido Files for Lost Judgment, so he is familiar with this franchise, and he is also a longtime fan. I've met the guy in person back at E3 2019. Very professional, loves his fans, a great person. But of course, when it comes to change, you know, it's subjective within the gaming industry. When you have different voice actors, people get attached to them. But it does offer a lot of like, hey, you know, their performances speak for themselves, but people do hate change. I like to establish an edifice if you're new to my videos. So when it comes to Japan, they're actually big sticklers when it comes to voice actors, meaning that once they cast a voice actor, they tend to stay with that voice actor for life until something dramatic happens. There are always, you know, there are always reasons for rules. For example, uh, for Yakuza 4, I believe that's the one with the corrupt cop. There are so many names in the Yakuza franchise, but there was a corrupt cop. And the reason they had such a trouble time remastering those games, Yakuza 3, 4, and 5, was because... The person who played the actor, the actor who played him, was wrongfully accused by a tabloid magazine that he was consuming drugs when he was consuming candy powder. So he went through a very difficult period where he tried to prove his innocence because Japan, you think America is hard on drugs, Japan is even worse. So he had to go through a long, very difficult process of being shamed, of being under, uh, you know, this watchful eye. And eventually it came out that the tabloid did run a false story. But he basically was done with acting and voice acting in general. So the fact that he was done means they had to recast everything. And this is a big deal in Japan. Recasting the model, the actor, everything. Because they tend to use 
real life models. For example, Yagami is based on a real life actor, and the reason that the Lost Judgment may be the final game in that sub series is because the actor um, may not reprise his role as Yagami. So you see, it's a huge deal. One of the reasons why Philoctetes, for example, in Kingdom Hearts 3 is in voice is because Danny DeVito did not reprise his role in the game. That's why he doesn't speak. So you can see they take this very seriously. So the fact they have a brand new voice actor for the upcoming Yakuza game is a huge deal. It may be a story reason because like I said, Kirio is supposed to be in Haydn, but we don't know at the moment because details on the story is extremely uh, hidden. As reported by The Gamer, again, all these articles will be linked before if you want to read them yourself. YouTuber Yongye, is, oh, I already read that. The, that little mod, so uh, did I read this? Uh, let's just read it again. As reported by The Gamer, YouTuber Yongye is replacing Daryl, can't say his name because I will butcher it, and gave fans a preview of the new voice of Anime Expo 2023's Dragon of Japan panel. The little dialogue he did was so painful, said Reddit user in response. And the yell at the end was very much not Kirio. Others were less critical of the performance, though it still didn't think it was a good fit. Yonge's voice isn't horrible, but it sounds like a 20-year-old, not a 50-year-old, uh, said one. The thing is, is that the, the models in Yakuza, they use the same models and voice actors. That's why characters like Majima and Kirio sound the same despite being in their 50s. Like, that's why Kirio from uh, Yakuza 2 and 1 look just like him in Yakuza 6 despite being a 50 year old man same thing for Majima and a lot of these characters they literally look like uh, 20 year olds and there is a meme that uh, Japanese men and women are born with anime powers and they never age because the health care is so great that's why Kirio doesn't kill he can shoot a bazooka at a helicopter and everyone's okay because the health care is so incredible and why characters like in, I believe it was Yakuza 5 where you played as a ba former baseball star and he fights, uh, Dom uh, he fights, I'm not going to say who again, but he fights someone and he showcases his body, which is like a mini Hulk. Like he has like 10 pack abs and huge arms. And he says, I do a thousand pushups every day, but he eats nothing but ramen and drinks coffee. And some days he will go days without meals. And I was just looking at that when I was streaming, I was like, dude, that's not how nutrition works. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's just the comedy of the franchise. The franchise is definitely known for its comedic take. Like Ichiban. Ichiban is like 40, late 40s, I think. Like he's in his 40s, yet he has a 10-pack. He has huge muscles. And he just comes out of prison. And he's just like built like a tank. <laughs> so it's the, it's definitely like I, I don't really care about that. Because, you know, it's supposed to be a dark comedy in a lot of degrees. So this is the line that they're stating. I already uh, heard it, but we'll watch it together. Turn around now, and you can go home in one piece. But if you don't, just remember, going down this path was your choice. Now, if you want to die... STEP UP! So that's the line that people are critical of. This is not from Like a Dragon Gaiden, the upcoming game. This is a voiceover over a previous, uh, you know, scene within the franchise. I forgot which one. I've played so many of these Yakuza games. But you can see from the tweets, Kirio sounds awful. It just sounds like Yang is trying to be sound dramatic and tough and failing at it. That's his voice in general. His uh, video voice is entirely fake. God, this is horrible, and it goes on and on. And I really think people are going too extreme with him because, again, he's done voice work in the Yakuza franchise, and it's clear that the developers thought he did such a great job that they decided to cast him for literally one of the most important characters within the franchise. They wouldn't cast him if they didn't think he could do it. So here's an example. This is from my video, the Kaido Files, which has Kaido fight in a certain character. I won't say who, but you'll see by their name, but yeah. So these past two years... I've made the gym my second home, and on top of that, I've practiced every form of martial art available to me. What I've learned is this. With the insurmountable will to protect the ones you love, even a frail physician can rise up and become stronger than any threat that comes knocking. So you can definitely hear the similarities between the two voices with Kirio, but... Honestly, he did a good job, so maybe it's because I'm a fan of his videos. I'm seeing this through rose-colored glasses, but ultimately, I think he does a good job. Again, I could be wrong about this. Until the game comes out, it's left for speculation. The YouTuber posted on Twitter to defend himself and release a better quality, but if that's not 
but still not professional version of the audio clip. Here's a clean version of Kirio voice and dialogue from Anime Expo. In a more ideal conditions, Yange said, This is not an official recording line or direction from the game. It's a quit off from the cuff recording from my home booth. Finally, reiterating what a lot of commentators were saying in defense of the new voice actor. He added, wait for the final game and see how it comes together. Yeah, 100%. So, uh, let me look up um, Kirio. Who's a uh, seven? Uh, I put English dub and literally it doesn't put English dub as the first category. Thank you, YouTube. So you came. That's a little unfair. Didn't peg you as someone who gets hung up on little stuff. Honestly, that scene kind of hurts me because uh, Ichiban is supposed to be hardcore within the Tojo clan, and he doesn't even know who the second chairman is. You would think that someone who is so devoted to the Tojo clan would know every single chairman. But regardless, honestly, I think both voices sound okay. And it could be because of story-related reasons. Because again, remember, it, I. Here's the thing: when Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain was being developed, a lot of people hated Keith or Sutherland for being the voice of Venom Snake. Now we all know why he's the voice of Venom Snake because he's Venom Snake. He's not Boss, but Big Boss. Not Boss is the girl. Big Boss is the big boss. But regardless, like uh, that was a story reason of why the actors were different, as opposed to you know this game so i think there might be a story reason of why like i stated he's supposed to be in hiding in this game so maybe there's the reason for that because they also use the same character model every single time and they change the character model for uh kirio in this game you can see this right here you see like he has he actually has the silver look and all that but his face looks exactly the same <laughs> So, yeah, it's just like, it might be a narrative reason for the changes of voice, you never know. But ultimately, I do agree that you should wait until the game releases to pass judgment. You never know, he might nail it in every way possible, or he could fail and fumble, you never know. But then again, this is the biggest move of his career, and I'm pretty sure he's going to take it with every ounce of seriousness as he can, and make sure he nails this, because this could make it or break it his career. It can open so many doors for the future, or it could close them just as easily. But again, I'm leaving it up to interpretation until the game comes out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. As a huge fan of the Yakuza franchise, I can't wait for this game. It's going to look incredible. Really hope we get another Lost Judgment, uh, not Lost, ju another Judgment game. I don't want Yagami to go as well, but we'll see. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below, uh, whether you like this, you hate it, and I'd like to hear other people's opinions on the matter. So that's me signing out. Again, thank you all for the 916 subs.